Now with this one, we got two gorillas right away. Three gorillas! Come on, climb up, climb up, climb up! <laughs> I wish he had like some grenades or something. And yes, I'm just gonna be standing here for a minute. Filling them with lead. Because it's better than uh, wasting precious ammo of other more valuable weapons. Alright. The Room of Midas. Every time you complete something in here, the um, there are going to be some gorillas that spawn, so I don't think you've seen the last of them. That is where we need to go. Okay, is this the room with the spears and spikes? I think it is. always jump in the water if you're scared of facing the gorillas right away and you just want to get to a safe place without running over there you can always jump in the water they won't attack you in the water but you will then have to face your fear and climb out at some point is... okay. We've got an artifact over here. And I've had these blocks. If those blocks fall on Lara, they kill her. So don't stand too close when you do that. So that's where we need to go. There is a relic over there, so we're going to try to get that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to need to use this to get to get the relics, so don't just pull it out and leave it there. Let's just let's pull it a decent ways out. And this is a timing-based room if you're not comfortable with those. Well, there's really no way around it. You have to complete the room in order to progress. But at least there are no critters. Like we're going to have in a couple of the other rooms. So this is timed. But the timer for the blocks to go down doesn't start until you leap onto the very first block. Now the timer has started. But the ones with the spears on them, you don't need to worry about. Jump, jump, jump. Come on. The timer has started. Come on, come on, come on. Our side is going down. Come on. There we go. We found a lead bar. Now for the other stuff in the room. So we have to go and pull the switch again. We have to pull the switch twice more, actually. I don't think you can do it in one shot. You can't get both of them in one shot. So let's get the relic first. So, pull the switch. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. I walked right by a med pack. <coughs> Excuse me. So now they're all the way up. Now, the relic is over there. You can't get to it by jumping on that platform and then reaching that ledge. You can't make it. But you notice how this notch is cut out of the corner of this pillar. So what you have to do is drag this here so that when that starts to go down, it's going to catch on this. So it never goes all the way down and that's going to give you time to uh, complete the puzzle and get the relic. But basically we have to do the same thing we did a minute ago, except now instead of turning to go into that alcove, we're going to continue straight on. And hopefully, I do it as well as I did it the first time. Practice makes perfect, after all. So even though the ones with the spears don't go down right away, the timer is running, even if you don't hear the knocking sound. Come on, come on, come on. You see the one on the other side is already going down, and it hit the thing and it can't go any further. sacred bird of the goddess Athena, owls were associated with her characteristic trait of wisdom. Careful leaping down, though. If you leap down onto those spears, you'll die. So don't do that. And you see, now all the others are going down as well. It just takes longer. Yeah, whatever. We can leave that. Let's get the artifact on the other side of the room. That one's a little bit of a shorter path. And they keep giving us checkpoints. It's very kind of them. This one, if you try to... you got to move fast, obviously, but if you try to rush the jump onto that platform, you can actually... it's very easy to miss that ledge. Again we go. And we're good for the moment. But here we go. Come on. There we go. See that pillar goes starts going down almost as soon as you land on it. die here either. Excellent. So that's this room complete, but now, heading out, we're going to have two more gorillas we have to face. I think it's two more. Shotgun is good to carry here because it, it can stun them and knock them on their asses. Come on! Oh, come on! Get up! Come on! Get out of here! Run faster than them. Well, not really. Get up, get up. Haha. <laughs> not making that mistake again, dude. I know you're still alive down there. each one, you have to put it in his hand to be made gold, just like in the legend of old. And then we need to put it in here. So there are two more that we need to find. Remember which one this 
house is. I know the flame room is the one behind me. That's the one we're going to be doing last. Oh, this is the room with the pillars and lots of sand. I think there are bats here, but not much else. And there's another... I know there's one big optional med pack that we can get. Oh, no, I just remembered. There's a lion and a gorilla on the lower floor. Well, this looks nice. Quite an interesting chamber here. It will all be different in a moment. And there's nothing here. Now you can play a game of chicken here, because the creatures downstairs will not follow you upstairs. Oh, come on! I tried to do it and it didn't work. See, they run away. You can play. You can. You can do this. They'll turn around. And they come up. There we go. Is there any? No, I don't think there's anything down here. I've never had Lara get hit by any of this stuff, but it doesn't hurt to stand farther away. She even just made the whole area more unsafe. And she's just standing there, chilling. Lead bar number two. And now we re-emerge to the upper floor to find the room... ...transformed. Look at what you did, Lara. What we did. And be ready for bats. Come on, there are bats here. Yes, there are. Four of them, to be precise. Not anymore. All right. We've got a med pack here. Another big med pack. See, I'm getting all the big med packs. So that's kind of silly. You can't loop back across. health bar showing. Did I take damage again? Alright. So, that cra crack in the pole over here is what we're aiming for. See, we'd miss it. I'm telling you, use your keys to line yourself up. The J key on the keyboard centers the camera. Don't do it, you'll find you miss. Oh, we even hit the higher one. You'll find you m you'll miss a bunch of times if you don't line your camera up. That was there. There's nothing up above, is there? I don't think so. Yeah, see that 
there's the other uh, med pack we're gonna go for. Could have sworn there was something in here. I'm probably gonna get to the end and find that I missed a. Uh, I missed an artifact. If you want to get to that, let's see if I can do it. You have to do the whole thing just like we did in the Damocles room. Right there. So right at the top of her jump, make sure you keep the camera close to the wall like that. You know, don't, you can fake. I like to do it that way and have her swing back and forth. And then when as she's at the top of her jump, hold the direction key First, hit the direction key, and hold it, and then hit the space bar. And she should jump in the right direction. Oh shit. Well, that's no good. We just used the med pack that we picked up. Alright, now this is a pain in the ass. You have to fight gorillas, and it's a tight corridor. There's, there's no way around it. And if you try going out onto the ledge, there's not that much more space, because if you fall off the ledge out there, you're going to have to go all the way around through the room again. Oh shit, well, that didn't come out. Stagger. Where's the other one? Did I get them both? I don't think so. I thought I only got one. Oh, I guess I did. The music was going. Threw me off. 50 cal ammo. Damn it. I had a shot. I could have gotten adrenaline dodge, too, if I hadn't... Uh, I'd been thinking. I wasn't thinking I was going to have room to do adrenaline dodge. You can do adrenaline dodge in any direction. You don't need to do it side to side. Uh, you can do it going forwards or going back as well. Sometimes the going forwards one doesn't necessarily work if the enemy is particularly tall uh, and is like swinging to attack you by raising its arms over its head like the gorillas do. And they'll hit you mid in mid adrenaline dodge, which cancels the dodge. That's two. Now we have the fire room. And they say you can glitch this so that you don't actually have to uh, go through the flames, so to speak. I've actually never been able to manage it. Not on PC, anyway. And no, no critter's gonna attack you right away, but there is a crocodile in the water. So... Just in case, I'll take a flame pack here. Yep. And there he is. I'm gonna draw him over here. Here he comes. And he's right there. Alright, this might take a second. See, I think he's only really taking a hit when he jumps like that. Like that. See, now he's not, he's not even moving. But if I wait a second... Yeah. So you could just pour bullets into him, but he won't really be taking much damage. And there's a lever. You can just pull it right now. anyway.
And you may think, oh, this doesn't look too bad. Uh, just wait. Come on, Larry, get above the water. I'm gonna try seeing if I can uh, get the set center platform to trigger without triggering the flames, but uh, see, the problem is, to complete the puzzle, um, that platform has to come up out of the water. That platform will not come up out of the water until you step on this pressure plate right here. Um, but when you step on the pressure plate, the flames are all going to uh, become active and it's going to turn into a raging inferno in here. The way you're supposed to be able to do this is if you can depress the plate while Lara still has one foot on uh, on land and one foot on the plate. Nope, see, it did it. I don't know if they're, uh, if it's set for something, if they patched it on PC or something, I honestly don't know. Maybe I simply wasn't patient enough. Who knows? Oh no, it's not. That doesn't come out. Oh, that's right. It's that switch over there. Huh. Well, I triggered the flames anyway. So much for theorizing. Come on, Byron. Go, 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 go. Come on. Up, 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 up. This one isn't too bad, it's the one crossing to the other side shield. Almost always gets hit in the plane. Yeah, that's right, it's this switch. That must be awfully nice to be able to do this without the flames coming on. Turns it into just another platforming group. Removes, uh, removes quite a bit of the challenge. So if you're somebody who's like uh, desperate to have an easy time of it in Tomb Raider, something to tr think about trying. Drop to the second level here. Go! Here's where she catches the flames! Yeah, she always gets the flame on that one. Now this next part, this is a little tricky. If you try to stand here, what you need to do is grapple this, right? But if you stand here and try to grapple, she won't grapple. You have to stand here. No, I'm up there. You have to stand here and try to grapple. And she'll grapple. I don't know. I did not want that to happen. I think I carried away. That's close. And there's no switch. Like if you get the um, get this bar, the flames don't turn off. They're always on. On forever. We found the lead bar. Now at this point, you can just dive into the water and exit. Um, I'm gonna try to get... This is the part I was telling about. I'm gonna try to get the relic in this room. Uh, first, we have to pull the switch. The switch is timed. The switch, you just saw it, it's right down there. You can kind of see it right there. What's gonna happen is we pull the switch, this tower is gonna go up, and then we have 50 seconds to run around the room and get back to this level to grab. Yeah. Do the swamp dive again. Get back to that level and grab it. Yeah. 
and we're going to be running through flames, and this is what I was talking about where I said you're going to just have to tank the damage, basically. But first, not until after we, uh... Oh, come on, Lara. Not until after we get around and pull the switch first, though. Let's see if we can get it. jumps backwards off of here, she will not make it onto this thing. You have to climb up and then do the long jump. to do any of these jumps, just exit to the menu and then load game and you'll load back in here. Instead of swimming all the way around and doing that, it'll save you time. Okay, once you pull the switch, the 50 seconds starts. Relic is in there. There it is. Come on, give me my camera back. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Mash E to swim faster. Gotta go fast. Tank the hits here. Come on, up we go. Up we go. And we got it. Just in time, too. It's already going down. Griffin head protome were fitted on bronze cauldrons or drinking vessels in archaic Greek art circa 700 BCE and served as talismans to ward off evil spirits. Okay, what do we use? I think we used, uh... Two big health packs? We had plenty good, because now we're going to be heading into a boss fight, and we're going to need the health packs there as well. And we're going to have two gorillas again. Gorillas or lions? I think it's gorillas. And I jumped right over them. And I'm climbing right up here. Relic to boot. Come on, Lara. Let us put our lead bar, transform our lead bar into gold.